Ichibuka really got me thinking right here with this tweet. They don't reinvent the wheel, just use the, you know. That got me going down a path because Twitch has a new program called Soundtrack. What Soundtrack does is it allows you to play any of this music from different curated, highly curated catalogs that they've put together. The music will play on your stream, but it will not be on the VOD. So I was like, how are they doing that? And how can we exploit that to play our own music? And here is exactly how you do it. Let's grab some software. You're gonna need Soundtrack by Twitch. When you install that, it will install a plugin to your Open Broadcast or your Streamlabs Open Broadcast. And that's what we need. We don't need the program. Install this program and close it. We only need the plugin for Open Broadcaster. So pick your flavor here, whether it's Streamlabs or regular OBS, and then download that. Next up, we're gonna need a couple more pieces of software because the idea here is to take all the programs on your computer and be able to separate those into separate channels. Next, you need to download and install a program called Voice Meter. And there's a few different flavors. The flavor you choose is dependent upon how many separate audio channels you want. Do you just want to separate your music from your desktop audio? Well, then you can just grab Voice Meter Banana. That gives you two additional channels that you can use. And don't be you know, worried. You can do this. This is easy. We're only trying to teach you a technique and, and turn you loose on the world. Complicated on the outside, but I'm going to make it very easy for you. If you want to separate maybe your music, your desktop audio, and also have a separate channel just for like Discord and people who are chatting with you and stuff. You can like mute that or leave it on your stream or whatever and have just a separate volume knob for that. Well, then you should probably grab Voice Meter Potato. These are donationware programs, meaning that they'll work for free, but with Potato, after 30 days, it's going to nag you to be like, hey, could you maybe uh, give us 10 bucks or something as a thanks for all the software you have? Now, if you want to separate it even further and have like a separate channel just for your web browsers or any other sound effects just for your gaming and stuff. So if you want four channels, also grab virtual audio cable. Whenever you grab voice meter potato, it will install the other stuff for you. So just grab potato and virtual audio cable. I went for the whole thing. I wanted all the channels I can get. So just in case I decide to separate it out. So I recommend going for potato. And if you decide you only need two channels, you can downgrade to banana. That's what I recommend doing. And that's what I'm going to show in this video. Now, the last program we're gonna need is something that's a Windows Store program. Don't worry, it's a really cool program. And it's called Ear Trumpet. I think it's one word, doesn't matter. Ear Trumpet, there it is. So go ahead and install that. I'm not gonna insult your intelligence. Go ahead and install all these programs. You're gonna need to reboot a couple of times after you install each one of the voice meter programs like Banana, Potato, whatever, Virtual Audio Cable. Reboot your computer a couple of times, come back to the video and we'll get moving on this. All right, so you got Ear Trumpet installed, you got Voice Meter Banana or Potato installed, you got your Virtual Audio Cable ready to go. So now what we're going to do is configure Voice Meter. This is Voice Meter Banana. First off, you can ignore all the hardware inputs. Hardware inputs are exactly what they sound like. That's for things you're plugging in physically to your computer, like a microphone or a guitar or, or something like that, a recording board, drums, you know, whatever physical items you're plugging into your computer, those are your hardware inputs. In the middle here, these are virtual inputs. And what virtual inputs means are you can take stuff on your computer and route them to one of these virtual inputs. Now down here, see all the A123 and B12 and all that stuff? That's your routing options. Now you probably want everything to A1 because this up here on the top, this now controls the output of your speakers to what you're hearing in your headphones and stuff. So like A1, I've got mine set to my Sound Blaster, which is my, this is my speakers. Just pick your speakers, whatever it is. And you probably want to do WDM because that is the lowest latency. So come up here and find, you know, whatever is probably your real tech speakers. Find your speakers on here and select that. If there's any stuttering and stuff, try the MME. If you've got a sound card, MME is probably gonna be what you want, but most of you are gonna do, wanna do WDM. So pick your speakers here for your primary output. If it's headphones or a DAC or something, pick that. You can have multiple outputs. And what's really cool is if you get into this program, you can just switch very easily between your different outputs with hotkeys and stuff being like, oh, I want my speakers now. You can select exactly which channels are live on each of those outputs. So I want everything live on A1 and A2, but if you say, you know what, I don't want one of my microphones or something to be coming out of the speakers. You can you can turn off different things. All right, so that's just a little overview of this. I'm gonna close that and open up Potato. It's the same thing, but bigger. It opens up in the system tray. The first thing you wanna do before you go any farther, also I like the fact that it shows you what 
applications are active on different channels and stuff like that. Hey, look, I put my microphone over here just so I could watch it, but I'm not really, I'm not even going to use this for anything. Go to your menu here when you first start and make sure you have run on startup and system tray. If this is not running, you're not going to hear any audio in your headphones or your system or whatever. Now, this gives you three different virtual things, and you can see I've renamed them here by simply right clicking on them. Let's go to our volume options on our computer. Now, if you just click on the bottom right, you can select your input. I want my device to be the voice meter input. That's gonna be the first channel right here, voice meter VAIO. So just follow what I'm doing here. You know, if, if you select voice meter, that's not controlling what you're hearing through your headphones or your speakers. This is now controlling that. So whatever you pick here is now the God of what you hear. So all my desktop audio is now being routed into this that I've titled desktop. Like I said, just right click on the top, type your title, and then press enter. Ubar slash music or music there, because that'll be easier for everyone to understand. And this is just, I could put my Discord and stuff like apps. I'll put Discord here. We'll show you how we route these. And that'll give us so much control. All right, next up for the music, how did I get FUBAR to go to voice meter aux? How did I do that? Well, down here you have your sound mixer, your volume mixer. You can go over here and you can find your different applications and stuff, but you can't do anything. You can just see them there. You can control the volume. And that is why we needed to install Trumpet. What Trumpet does is it gives us another little icon here. So now we have two speaker icons. It essentially takes over the other one. All right, so now that we have two icons, let's just get rid of the old one because if you right click on this, you can easily select your stuff and it even has your Windows legacy stuff right here. So this is just a much better taskbar management tool. So I'm going to get rid of this one really quick by just right clicking on some blank space on the taskbar and then hitting taskbar settings. It'll bring us up to this and if we scroll down we'll be able to say turn system icons on or off. See we've got our volume right here. Turn that off. And now we only have one volume. That's it. We just have that one. So I just turned off the system icon. Very easy just by right clicking on the taskbar here. Now when you first click on this you'll just see a few things. Let's expand it and we can see everything that's running on our computer right now. And it also tells us where things are mapped. All my desktop stuff is now mapped by default to VAIO. So I don't have to worry about that all. Pretty much all my programs that are open up right now, you click on them once it mutes, right click on them. See this here? You can actually decide what device all your stuff is going to. So by using the default, remember my default is VAIO. So that's all going there. Everything that's default is going right here. Very easy. Well, thanks for whoever just did that. Top files. Good. I'm glad you're subscribing. All right, now I want my music programs here. I'm going to right click on FUBAR and I want to map my music programs to auxiliary, voice meter aux. So come down and find voice meter aux. Right there it is. That's where it's going. So now my music is going to the auxiliary right here. Let's make sure that Spotify, if I may need to play something. All right, there's something playing, but you can't hear it because it's not routed through the right ways. All right, see Spotify just showed up. So let's right click on it. Just make sure Spotify is going to Auxiliary. You can do this with all your music programs so that they all go to the same place. They're all going right here to Auxiliary. I want Discord to go to Vio3 so I can have my just separate Discord. And this will be really cool if I'm streaming with somebody and they're also talking. I'll have a separate volume knob right here and also inside OBS just for them if I do this. So Discord, let's route that to Voice Meter Vio3 right there. I'm gonna make sure I select the right channels. Now that we have all of our programs plugged in to these different inputs, we can take these separate inputs that we have and create audio mixer channels right over here by simply first off clicking on settings and then going to audio. So here's the deal. While this program is running and it has to be running or else this will not work because this takes your desktop audio, adds this music on top of it, packages it up nicely and then sends everything over to Twitch. So this is the main thing. Just keep this open, but you don't have to use it. Whatever your desktop audio is, is going to be disabled in your VOD. Your stream will be able to hear it. While you're streaming, everything will be fine. But the VOD will not be able to hear this. So what I want, actually, is my auxiliary. Because look, that's all my all the um, you know music software is right there. I'm going to set this up as voice meter aux input. Right there, auxiliary audio. And now the top one going to be all the music software. Desktop audio 2, I don't want that to be anything because whatever is here is going to be muted in the VOD. If you want to have another channel that's muted in the VOD, you can do that. But right now, this is the only channel that I want muted in the VOD because it's the music. Don't want to get any copyright strikes. There's my microphone. That's my Yeti. I'm just going to leave that there. And then, so my next thing on the list is the mic auxiliary audio 2. 
and I want that to be just my desktop audio, which we've created here, which is the VAIO. There we go, desktop audio right there. And then I guess I'll go ahead and make this one, number three, the next one, which is gonna be like Discord and my communications devices and stuff like that. And then you don't have to do this. I'm just doing this for myself because I'm gonna use this for something else, my cable output here. This is, ignore this. I'm just doing this for my own good. Hit apply and then okay. Oh wow, all kinds of stuff appeared here. Now check this out, my desktop audio, it should be my music software. So let's whip the llama's ass a couple of times. There it is. So, so I don't wanna get confused. So I'm gonna right click on this and rename it. I'll just call it, um, I use FUBAR the most, but I also, you know, I'm gonna have all my music out here. FUBAR music, this will be Yeti. Uh, this is Mike Auxiliary 2, which was, I believe, my desktop audio. Let's double check and make sure my desktop audio is working. Of course, we're gonna use some old Sega ads. There we go, play. Take a CD. Yep, right there it is. What are you waiting Turn it down. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna call this desktop sneaky because it's my sneaky desktop. All right, here, rename. There we go. And then this one was Discord, the last one. Don't need to check because I remember what it was. Rename. Um, who knows what else I'll use that for? And then my other channel's not open right now. And this VOD thing should always be here by Twitch. Or, you know, VOD, VOD by Twitch. If it's not here, you'll have a big red bar on top that says like, "Oh, it's not working." You just probably need to restart one of these applications. So I can go ahead and you don't want to close this. You can push the X button and it just goes down here. Just leave it down there. You need this thing. It has to be running. But now everything's set up and I can have all the separate channels. Let me just turn some stuff down there. Look at all that. We got, we got music up here. We got my sneaky desktop up here. All that stuff is working just fine. All right, so let me turn that off. How do we configure what goes to Twitch for your stream and what goes to Twitch for your VOD. Well, this program has set up something interesting and I'll show you what we're doing here. Right click on this anywhere, just anywhere in the gray space and click advanced audio properties and you'll see all these tracks. Well, do you know what all these tracks are? I'll show you here with this movie. We're watching vampires here from 1998, right? And I can come over here and click on audio track and I can go between English and I can go between that and then I can go over here and just click on Russian. There we go. Got two different tracks there. So you don't need all these tracks, tracks checked. Uh, by default, track number one is your streaming track. And just leave VOD audio soundtrack for Twitch the way it is with one unchecked and six checkmarked. So what this plugin does is it makes track number six your VOD. And see, notice here, it's already unchecked number six for my music foobar. It already unchecked that because this was my desktop audio. And it automatically unchecks all your desktop audio because it doesn't want you to be able to play any music or anything like that that you're gonna get a DMCA notice for. So that is unchecked, which is great, which means this is not gonna be on the VOD, but it is checkmarked for the stream so we can have any music we want on the stream and no music on the VOD. And you can also go in and granularly select whatever you want to be on the VOD or the stream. It's pretty easy to do. Um, and I want to apologize. You'll notice that some of these names are going to change here in a second because uh, I'm recording this in two different takes. But just ignore that and just uh, remember that all the principles that we've just talked about are going to work regardless of what you've named everything down here. You can right click and come up with your own naming scheme all you like. And remember, it's in alphabetical order. So once you, you know, after you rename everything and then you reboot, all these things that start with a D are gonna to go to the top of the list, Alphab alphabetical order. Now we can get sneaky and play any music we like. Now, if you come in here to settings, one thing you'll notice under your output settings, if you're on advanced mode, you can select which track is your streaming track. That's, that's how you do that. I've got track one selected for that. And then when you're recording, check this out, I'm actually recording track one and track six now. You know, you can check mark how many tracks and note that depending upon your settings, your codec, and also your computer. If you have too many tracks going, it's going to create some really squirrely issues with your audio being out of sync or stuttering or something like that. You need a powerful computer to record a lot of audio tracks at the same time. So there you have it. Be sure to uh, say thanks to our sponsor, Ourselves, by grabbing some of this gear. It's like just what you needed, and it'll help us out a little bit too. Try to keep the prices, you know, tolerable. You get it. Also, head over here to the hardware, grab yourself one of the mice like the one I'm using right here. This is the 3310 sensor, and it has sort of an IntelliMouse shape and feel, which I really like myself. This is the one I use. We also have the Fenix Swift with a 3360 sensor, extremely accurate. 
a bunch of really cool mouse pads, and a keyboard that you can spill water on, and it's also really quiet. Yeah, let me show you how quiet this keyboard is. Not, not terrible. I mean, you can hear it, but it's much quieter than a lot of the mechanical keyboards out there. So there you have it. Have fun. Let me know if you have any questions. Just throw them in the comments. But hopefully this helped a lot of people out there. I wouldn't have made this video if I saw anything that addressed this specifically. But I thought, you know, I found some videos showing how voice meter works and some videos talking about the soundtrack on, on Twitch. But this is the only video that I know of that shows how to do all of this together. So there you have it. Play your music, separate it out for the VOD and do not get a DMCA takedown notice. I wanna say one last thing. If you somehow still get a DMCA takedown notice, it could be because of music that's in the game that you're playing, and um, there's not much I can do about that. I'm sorry if you get a DMCA takedown notice. And if you get in trouble for any music you're playing, I will not be held responsible. You do all of this on your own volition. Disclaimer, et cetera, et cetera. So that's the end of this video. See you in the comments.